my first how-to video on YouTube. Following on from my blog post this week about your art and your journey, I thought it'd be a good idea to show you um, a really great way of storing your pastel paintings. Now this wasn't my idea at all, it was from a member of my art class, Tanya. So thank you, Tanya. And it's storing the paintings in photo albums. Here's one, a little tiny one I got, just to test the idea. This is the photo album I already had, and I thought I'd try this one first. And I used some of these photo corners, and I used black just because it's black paper. And I thought, yeah, that really that works really well. But as you can see on the other side, it's it has lifted some of the pastel off, so I wasn't too sure about that. Um, but it was the only one I had, so as we go along, I did put a bit of glassine on here, and this, this worked really well, and now I can get two on each side. But when I was viewing them, I didn't want this, this being um, able to fall out or having to worry about lifting it up, and when um, I had um, customers viewing them, perhaps um, I didn't want the customers to have to worry about lifting it and putting putting it all back in place and everything so I thought there must be um, a small album like this that I can buy that has already got some glassine or similar material in it and I was right so good old Amazon here we go whoops that one's got a little bit creased but there it is inside and it's very smooth on that side and ideal for the job. So now I can put drawings on either side. Just lift that up. And it's it's working a treat. And I'm able to see all my paintings and studies all in one go. This is the and um, the portrait course that I do all the pieces for that. Um, so it's really ideal for that kind of thing, little tiny studies. But then the other thing is that we don't always do tiny little paintings. So what could I do then? Is there such a thing as a bigger photo album, about A4 size or maybe even bigger than A4 size, possibly A3? So, no, there isn't. <laughs> I didn't find a photo album A3 size. So I had to make one. So I found this ring binder and I got some A3 sheets of tracing paper and I put holes in them and I put little reinforcers on the holes as well. And then I got some card, A3 card, and again punched the holes in and hey presto, I've got my own photo album. These are all the little commissions I've done and I just stuck those in the front. had a little printer for Christmas and um, I thought that was an ideal way of storing little photos of commissions I'd done. But then we get to our paintings. So very easily we can put these in here. I'll just show you some bigger ones. So here's the snow leopard that we did, for example. Piece of glassine over the top, and if I just move that over, you can see there's the poppies that we did as well. On the back here, this is where I didn't have. The tracing paper. Um, I didn't think about that idea until after I'd made it and I really didn't want to cut loads of sheets of glassine up so I just bought um, a, a big pack, I think it was about 50 sheets of A3 tracing paper pre-cut and all I did was just punch the holes in it there. And then for one that I want to, I want to add one in so for example, this horse, you do have to be a bit careful when you're lifting over the pages, but really that's not a big issue. That's just some 
paper that I've stored there and then you take another sheet get your little corners on and you've just made a new sheet to go in there and that will store quite a lot of paintings and remember you can do it double sided as well and then it becomes like a photo album of all your art so it's a really nice way to store your art and be able to look at it so I know there are other ways to store your art but they involve putting a piece of glassine all over it and um, putting tape around it and it doesn't make it easy to view your art so I thought this was a lovely way to view it. So once again, thank you to Tanya for recommending the brilliant idea.